Today I'm going to show you how we can hook up a deep water well to a portable generator using materials from your everyday hardware store. So this is what our well system looks like. We have the well expansion tank. We have a square D relay switch. And the pump is about 250 feet down that hole. These electrical wires coming up uh, feed the pump electricity when the relay switch tells it that the pressure in the expansion tank is too low. This black wire going out the back goes back to the power box. So we trace the line coming from the pump uh, back down to this box here. We had a black on that fuse and a red on that fuse. That tells us that this is a 240 pump and not a 120 pump. It'd be rare that you have a 120 pump on a 250 foot deep well, but you never know what they did back when this place was built. So we had our black wire here coming into the bottom of this panel. We had two hots and then it was grounded and neutraled out. This is a box we put in for the specific purpose of hooking up our well to our generator. We don't want to hook the well directly up to the generator for two reasons. Number one, we could blow up the generator or we could blow up the well pump. Neither one of those would be a fun thing to blow up. Generators are expensive, well pumps are expensive, especially well pumps that are 250 feet under the ground. So we installed just a 60 amp breaker box with, uh, with two fuse circuits. We put in a double 30 amp fuse we have our black wire that's going out to the pump coming into the box and this orange wire I'll show you how we made an extension cord out of this orange wire to plug it directly into our generator but first I'm going to open up this box and show you how we wired it up on the inside and this is very basic but I'm going to explain it to you anyway this black wire is the one that's running out to the um, pump relay switch. So we have a black as a hot, a red as a hot, we have a white as a neutral, and an exposed copper as a ground. The white and the neutral both run in to this neutral strip at the top. Sorry, the white and the ground. The black and the red go directly in to our fuse. You can see they're hooked directly onto the bottom of the fuse. Those are our two hots. Now this orange cord is the cord we're going to use as our extension cord out to our generator. We have the black and the red cords. Those are our hot cords. Now they're feeding the breaker. So I brought the black in on a hot side of the breaker. I got the red in on another hot side of the breaker. And we have a white cord, which is our neutral. This is the neutral that's going out to the generator. We have that going into our neutral strip at the top. Now the exposed copper, which is going out to the generator, is grounded up here to this box. Now this is the other end of that orange wire that we were showing you. What we have here is a 30 amp, 125, 250 volt wire. Underneath is where we connected the wires in. They just slide in from the bottom you unscrew the top here, pull this up, and you connect your wires. The labeling on these is the uh, neutral, which is over here, is going to be W for white. The two hots are going to be X and Y. Your ground is going to be labeled G. So just hook the cords up with their coloring. White to W, copper cord to G, and the red and the black go to X and Y. Now this cord that we're using is a 15 foot 10-3 indoor use cord. We're not going to be leaving our equipment outside, so we went ahead and used an indoor use cord. Though I would recommend, if you want to spend the extra money, to go ahead and get an outdoor use cord. Uh, especially if this is going to be a permanent setup for us. This is a temporary setup, so we went with an indoor cord. It was a little less expensive, 
and we can get it in a 15 foot length, which was the perfect amount of length to get it from inside the well house out here to where we can plug it into our generator. So to review, we have the, the cords coming out of the pump, they're going into the expansion tank relay switch, the cord coming out of the expansion relay, relay switch is this black line that we can then follow up the wall, runs over this way, runs down to the old power box, we disconnected it from the old power box, we put in our own breaker for it, we have the orange wire coming out, and I'll show you in a minute, that orange wire is just going to plug right into the generator. All right, so here we have a Troy built generator. It's nothing special, um, but it will do the trick. We got this on uh, sale at Lowe's, 10% off for just over 600 bucks. It uh, has 8,500 starting watts, 6,250 running watts. Um, the main thing is it operates both 120 and 240 amps. Um, and another way you can tell when you're checking for a generator is to read the side label. Uh, that'll tell you all the different type of appliances this generator is capable of handling. Right here on the side label, we can see this is the uh, 240 outlet. Uh, well pump is one of the things that it's listed, up to 575 watts. Um, that'll handle a pretty decent sized well. Uh, you could also hook it into a furnace or a transfer switch for uh, additional power in your house um, but it's good to check out the generator before you buy it make sure you can do the task that you're asking it to do all right so we've got everything hooked up we've got our power line coming in it's plugged in generator's ready to go we've got our hose ready to go let's see how this bad boy does we'll turn the generator on give it a quick quick crank 